Just talk with DJ Cappuccino. Don't you think you need counseling, Josie? I Me? think you are head. Me head? Can never pay. Can never happen. Me head? No. Can never happen. Me head? No. This man needs to speak to a professional. Oh, the professional in me. Because I grew up with trouble. Yeah. I grew up with trouble. I grew up with trouble. You are just a uh, voice. Yeah. Now, it happened. Eh, was very firm. Eh, from Houten to Pulugan was Julius Malema is not ordinary. He's doing great things. He's pushing, he's moving. And you have worked close with him. Mm. What have you learned that you think you have treasured from working with such a man? Hey! Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, there was no way you could see you because you did mm. not understand. First did time you, you cried after a long time. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 no. That I never cried. What have you done? You are working in pain. Then when I arrive home, I just says, what have I done? So the priority now is we too. The EFF is my political party. It's my political home. There is no problem. There is no crisis in the EFF that I must attend to. So what do you say to those who say, maybe you are as good as expert, not doing anything, you just donated a bull? You go there, they will still say he was begging for space. Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. Thank you for listening to Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. And if you're listening, please click on like or subscribe. We value your comments, we value your criticism, because that's how the podcast will grow. Thank you again for viewing. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. I'm happy and honored to be hosting a giant, especially in our beginning phase, to have somebody who has done a lot of things, to have a farmer, a businessman, an activist, a politician, uh, to have a Modigani Joseph Butani, known as Josie Stalin. Uh, welcome to Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. Hola, hola, bro. Thanks so I dare you, dare you, dare you. No, like really, just to carry on before this step. Here. When was the last time Obeta Mood? Eh, ah, last year. Last week, last year, it's just last week. Eh. Hey. Have they opened up on, cases? On this para, as Obeta, it's communication. It's talking to a person hard. As Obeta Mood. Eh. Hey. You, 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 you are just, you are just talking to a person uh, in a. Mm. Deeper, harder way. Yeah, because I grew up Yeah. Yeah. So you must say, and So you are just a voice. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we are quite sure at all because Urlo yeah. Bulela or I could cut away as he so no, we teach the other way. But with the help of Jim and Diet, and you lost weight, I feel like I was suffering. Shakam Hon. Ah, we, yeah, you know, no melamo to Gabriel and ask him to come on. And and it's oh, even nicer now because uh, I can move faster, faster, and I'm not going to. In a little bit of a regular girl, go a little bit differently. In a little way, and it becomes difficult to do a guafas. You know, when I got to know you, uh, it's when I heard that you murdered someone, and the other week you murdered someone, and I got concerned. And at some point, I was like, I hope this man one day I'm paid, you know, because I think we wouldn't be sitting here right now. I'll be in jail, and <laughs> you'll be six feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, my brother, it's not like I go around doing it. By the way, I'm a very loving, jolly person. Yeah. I'm I'm but blind, 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 blind. And uh, the moment I arrive at that, you must know you have pushed it. Mm. You must know you have really, really pushed it. Um it takes time for me to arrive there. Yeah. And once I'm there, I don't go back. Officially. Yeah, I've, I've, I've arrived. So uh, it takes time for me to arrive there. And uh, you must know you pushed it. But those who lay charges, uh, does it affect you? Uh, I mean, you were 
go legislature. Did it affect you at all? Yeah, it affected me how? You provoked me. Mr. You started me. I don't start a fight, mm. by the way. Yeah. Uh, I get provoked and I call you to order. You don't listen. I call you to order again. Then with this voice. And then I strengthen the voice. So, uh, I, I, you did look. You can take me to police station. I get arrested. When you get arrested, for me, the jail cell is a resting place. You just go there. You don't have a phone. At least you switch off a bit yeah. from other things. Then you relax. And I get very worried if I don't get arrested twice or thrice in a year. About the same offense? No, different. Mm. By the way, I do things differently. Yeah, but they, they all have military torture. <laughs> That's why they call me Stalin. Okay. Mm, that's what, as a man of steel. So yes. It must happen how I want it. And if it doesn't go that way, everything, uh, hell, hell break loose. So I don't care. You, you take me to a court, you take me to prison, you take me to jail cell, holding cell. Yeah. Don't have a problem. By the way, I'm the only person to date that has closed uh, successfully and won twice. And no one has ever dared to do that. Mm. Even taxi people, the militant radical ones. Papa I they have not tried it. I, the last time, in fact, I tried it with them. They, I, they were the first to run away. I was left alone. <laughs> so I've done it twice. So I'm just saying, mm -hmm. uh, I don't start trouble. But if I want something, I want it at all cost. And bravery sometimes must come in. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing with me. Like, and that's a character many people don't like about me. Mm. Uh, the, the that that character, the bravery character, and it's not like I don't get scared. By the way, sometimes uh, when I arrive home, I say, hey, "What did I do here?" Then, hey, that's yeah. when I then get scared. Of, hey, Bella, I fought with the police. You know the when the EFF. Uh, did that thing of uh, just last year. When we did that thing. Yes. Uh, just last year. Last year, when, now, when we were blocking roads and all that, when we said uh, the, the country must be ungovernable, because I don't remember what was the issue. Oh, there. that thing, yeah. You shut down. The yeah, shut down. down. Yes, yeah. shut down. Uh, I found them lazing around there. And uh, it could not, uh, it was not happening. Then I said, hey, okay, let me shake a mood a bit. Mm. And then I just laid on the tarot road cross like that because I got cars were passing. You just, yeah, cars were passing. So it's a shutdown, but cars are passing. Mm. Police are there. And then people there are saying, no, these police are saying we can't enter the road. We did not apply. Mm. Then I said, Eamon, this car, these ones, they have a right to go where they want to go. Lerena, we are pedestrians, we have a right to go where we want to go. So in our group, Yeah, at our pace, we, yeah. let's go. And then I saw Karabaki Kelis, I just laid there across the street like that. So there is no car that will pass going there. Well, no, there's no car that will come passing this way. Yeah. If you do that, it means you must uh, go over me. So, hey, there was one police there, man. That guy, I think, he just thought he's the bravest amongst them all. Yes, I said, I turned him to pieces. In and you, you have assaulted police? Eh? If, could you have assaulted police before? No, I don't. Uh, those ones, but I was uh. talking about that. that. <laughs> yeah, those ones, they'll give you, hey, you'll meet to America, you can't do <laughs> you know, it. You, can, you can fight with them, they fight them, fight them, fight them, fight them. Mm. But you fight them with cocaine. So leaving that one, I fought, I fought, I fought, I insulted, fought oh, that thing of yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? And calling your, your, your everything on you and all that. Not closer. All. Yeah, and all that and all that. And then when the comrades are are nearby, you act like you are going there, <laughs> but you know you don't want to go there, but you act like you are going there. And then that guy Leona becomes scared. <laughs> Leona trauma. Yeah. Then when I arrive home, I just says, what have I done? Hey, swear to man. Yeah. I literally got some sweat, proper sweat. Hey, this one, in fact, is the first time I'm talking about it here. Even, <laughs> even my partner does not know about it. 
Uno bana ke go motho for some time ke duty. For what was I doing today? Mm, I had to take a cigar then ke tele. <laughs> this thing I've done is not done. Uh, one day I'm going to meet my maker. But well, it's what happens to me in a situation. It's activism. Yeah, I it, that thing kicks, the bravery kicks and by the way, I always make it a point that those I'm with mm. are safe. I'll rather compromise myself in the process, but those I'm with don't touch them. Don't touch them. Mm. Uh, you do everything with me, it's fine. But not the ones I'm leading. Yeah. Don't touch this ones I'm leading. We're going to have a very big problem. I was in Amaskral because it's my home town and worried about this crisis here. Mm. And telling them, Mori, you have the N1. Request to have a meeting with the president at the N1. Mm. Monthly. Consistently so. They must come from Union Building, come address you at the N1. Mm. And then, Leba Botore, we are going to meet again next month for feedback. There's mm. no way they won't resolve your problem. Yeah, yeah, you, no. you are right. There's no way, because they, right. there's no activism there. You are right. Look, uh, the first time I closed this uh, one of uh, N1 was when this road they were building, was what, what they were constructing, was was never ending. You remember, it took some long time. Yeah, there was some project that we didn't understand. There. Yeah. They, and then, uh, even now, is it possible? And then when we, when we went there, um, in two, three months, we were told that construction is back. They are doing it. Mm. If you block the N1, they are very fast to listen to you. Yeah. Very, very fast. An hour or two is proper. It's too much. Ah, it's proper, it's proper, 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 mm. proper. So you must do it nicely. Like 30 minutes, you go. Mm. And then 30 minutes, you waste it on negotiating with the police. Just, that, is, that's uh, why you do that yeah. thing of yours. Yeah. <laughs> so you must be very strategic. <laughs> You can't lead being a dumb cop, my man. So mm. uh, dumb cops uh, don't lead. Yeah. Because everything you do, you must be very systematic. You know, oh, okay, I'm going there. I'm going to block that thing. So people are going to, the first 20, 30 minutes, people will be trying to navigate their way out. The next 30 minutes, the pol uh, someone is going to inform the police or the traffic officers. Then the next 30 minutes, those ones will want to negotiate with me. And 15 minutes, I know I'm not going to agree. Yeah. The next 15 minutes, I'm going to start acting like I'm buying into their story. But then, play it around. And then the next 20 minutes, that's when I start to move out a bit, a bit. Then we have went properly on your three hours. Cars are waiting. Cars are waiting. Yeah. The economy has stopped. Good three hours. Good three hours. And then no one sees a no no one sees it as a problem. But politically, is a very big statement, and economically, is a very big impact. Hmm. Yeah. So that's how you become a arrangement like me. Take us back, ne? Where your journey started, yeah, uh, politics. I think you've been in politics for a long time, from your days. I don't know of uh, Pasma, hmm. Sasco. Like, what really motivated you to say, I need to start? fighting for other things other than fighting for myself because I believe that's what politics is about. What is there any specific incident that pushed you to say, I need to stand up? No, look, uh, politics with uh, mostly guys from home uh, is something we grew up seeing. Yes. Like... Uh, there was a guy called Papo, an old man called Papo. He's a, he was a DA member, and our uncles used to call him Mpimpi, and he owned some complexes there, which are Papo even today. So every time there is a strike, they will strike to those shops and uh, ban them and all that. Mm. So we'll join them as young boys and all that. My mother was very active. She's still active now. It's just that she's age is catching up with her. She's active in politics. My mother. Now, um, the... Which political party? Your mom? She, my, my mother started with uh, the ANC, yeah. Mm. And then, uh, well, she followed me to the EFF currently. Now, um, and my uncles, um, 
But I think one of my angles was a Zappo, Malmi case. I think something like that. But that's an environment I found myself in. And yes. then going to high school, we'll find some guy called Lidimu, Libuili Sodi, show the close gates and do those things. And they became exciting for us uh, as the boys around the hood mm. and all that. And I got some, I, I, I developed some interest. And going to the university, I arrived there as a as a as a as a as a child raised by my grandmother was a a kitchen person was working in the kitchens of these uh, white people here in Ladana, and uh, my grandfather was in some uh, furniture shop there at uh, Zone Three. Mm. The money was not uh, that enough, and actually they were pensioners. Now I arrived there, I find Ishmael Malale leading Sasko. Which and year was it? 99. 99 yeah. And then I find Mashau leading Pasma. Now it was two bulls facing each other. Now when we entered gate two, pedestrian, I think you know it. Yes. That, that's quite there. So it was... Uh, do, do registration time. Now, Bumashaw are saying, this one's wish mile, they've eaten SRC money. The money we must register with. I, I did not even think twice. Mm. Who are like this? And then uh, there is an organization here that says... Uh, they charge your money. They, this one, they charge my money, and these ones are fighting them. I'm joining these ones. I, I went to them. I joined uh, PASMA. A year later, uh, Comrade Julius met me and said, hey, when I'm on, I hear you. By the way, you are from the same block yeah. at home. When I hear you have joined this thing of Pasma, what, 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 what. then I said, hey, yeah, it's true. This is the story. Uh, well, those ones are wrong. And then, well, I did not have a proper uh, political... Um, you are not influenced in, by ideology. Or yeah, those things, yeah. To me, it was a bread and butter issue. Yeah. Well, you can't eat my money. We are here, we are suffering. Mm. And then when I eat SRC money. And then I explained, he said, then he, he gave me those other issues and all that. And will say, when I'm around, he will take me to the late uh, Tabo Magunyan. Mm. Tabo Magunyan. Who takes you there? Comrade Julius? Yes. Yeah. And then uh, Tabo Magunyan will give politics. And there is a guy called Maremani, who was our a, a, a chairperson of the ANC there. And then they'll give me some politics. And from time to time, we'll be together. And then he'll tell me, you know, and all that. Then I understood and then went into Sasko. Mm. Then that's where uh, some ideological clarity came. Uh, and then came into the ANC, led the ANC, came into the Youth League, led in the Youth League, the YCL, and we met comrades like Comrade Soviet, John Mbe, a lot of them, Matale, Comrade Matale, the late Franz Matala, the late uh, Comrade uh, Castro Pilusa, like that. Yes. And then they shaped uh, the me that you see yes. today. Uh, all these people that I mentioned and those that I did not mention shaped uh, the me in today. But the, the the political bravery, and in fact, the bravery itself, I got from my mother. <laughs> yeah, that one is a serious Puma sailor. She doesn't take nonsense. Even now, she tells me, mm. and you, if you know my mother, she's very short and uh, tiny like that. And she Even today, she will say, when I was a good Oh, she's got military touch. Yeah, yeah, we glow at her in. Uh, and then we <laughs> we know when she said that I must just leave. Mm. And then uh, yeah, then came the EFF. Uh, I took a, a month uh, not having joined them. Can 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 we pause there, please, if you allow me? Yeah. Uh, you leaving the ANC to the EFF. Yes. Uh, what exactly happened? What influenced it? Because even after the inst the EFF. Uh, the inception of the EFF, mm. you were still ANC man. Yes. And was there specific 
uh, you know, occurrences that made you to say, maybe I need to find another political home? No, look, when they expelled Comrade Julius, remember, we were not expelled, I was not expelled myself. Yeah. But at the time, I was a branch chairperson of the ANC in what they did, where Comrade Julius comes from. And uh, I, 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 I asked myself, these people, they expel this one, they don't even talk to us, we don't know what is happening. Uh, this, this person is a member of a basic unit, which is a branch. Which some, is are, here. some are celebrating. Yeah, and what is this thing? So I'm going to fight this thing. I'm going to fight these people. I wrote a letter uh, of grievance and I I fought about it and uh, the treatment we are getting as a branch because it was now affecting the whole branch. Then the letter was received by the late comrade Joy Matsuhe. They, there was a committee that was dealing with those things. I remember when they called me to a hearing, I was with DG, that uh, thing yes. called DG. Maja. Yeah, that thing called DG Maja. Yes. We were there the whole day. They called me. I went there uh, as early as eight with that thing. And then those people, <laughs> they only attended me, I think it was around uh, 10 in the evening. They left you the whole day? And then people came after me, but they were they were allowed passage, and there were two uh, gentlemen, the very rough security personnel, Soli and NS, who could not do anything. In the, the, the tough ones. Yeah, yeah. those ones. People, they don't they don't say many things. They say, "Chief, move, move." Hey, you can't enter them, my man. Mm. When those ones they say, "Move, move," they were trained by that uh, <laughs> Rudolf Pal. <laughs> what is that coke of mine? They were trained by that Rudolf Pala. So, yeah. I, my man, 10 o'clock, I enter there. So, I am having my letter. I have the constitution. So, me, I'm thinking, I agree. I saw the one who was in the other dynamics. Yeah. I'm thinking, uh, these things are going to go by the book. And Proce there'll be procedure. There'll be procedure. And, and then once it's procedure. Mm. This one's I moved them proper. They'll even refer to the constitution. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And yeah. Ah, even in my letter, my man, I've quoted clauses of the constitution. <laughs> and then when I arrive in that meeting, those guys, after putting me there the whole day, they only gave me five minutes to present my story. And when when they let you wait, I got you not told what time. You can't even leave. Hey, you can't leave. Hey. You can't go ahead. Let me go get food. You, you are thinking any time from now I'll be called. Yeah, you'll be called. Aye. My man, I'm there the whole day in, in the night. Ah. Those arrangements, they call me. Give me five minutes. Those things, they then say to me, no, we heard you, we'll call you. That's like that. Hey, then I leave. When I leave, a call comes mm. around 11. It's one comrade of ours, very senior. Then he says, hey, I just my man, these people, they don't want you anymore, these guys. That must be Kassel, no? No, not Kassel. Okay. It's a female, and don't don't force me to say the name. No, I no. know you are a crook. Yeah, we're not going to force anyone. <laughs> Not going to force anyone. <laughs> yeah, so mm. <laughs> you you be there, people are crooks. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, but but that night, Pinky never called you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, now you are studying. You you are you are dealing with a crook here. So two crooks. The other crook will not win over the other crook. <laughs> so, so that comrade calls and say, "Hey, this girl, they don't want you guys, right?" Hey, Mona, why do you say that? Right after you left. They said we must call another person. And then when now your story, they only commented about your watch. They said, hey, now one of our para watch that why you let child mush. That was the only thing they said about your case and presentation. Until the fools they don't know. We had a meeting with Comrade Julius at Mikete two days before. Before you went to present your case? Yes. yes. Two days before. And he told me, you can fight however you want to fight, my man, but those it's guys have taken a decision. It's done. It's, now I'm leaving it up to you now. Mm. 
Then I went to that meeting which proved me right. And then the following day after that call, in the morning at 7, I called him. I said, Seven, I, I, want a mem- I want a membership at the gate. I'm in. <laughs> we can't fight this thing and win it anymore. That's where... And that's how, the, the, my home is no longer hospitable for yeah, me. Yeah, that's when I went into the EFF. So uh, it was that process. No one chased me out of the ANC. No one expelled mm. me, but I felt they were not doing justice. Uh, and I felt that they were just uh, punitive. Uh, on him and everyone that is around him. You know, there's one thing that I believe, and I could be wrong, has killed the party, especially the NC, or reduced its potency. The whole thing of dealing with people personally. And such happens a lot, especially after conferences. Because you were vying for a certain leader, then they make it difficult for you to breathe. Some lose their jobs, some lose positions. Like, they try to make sure that the party is no longer a home. And when you move, they cry. They say you are counter-revolutionary. Why do you move? Whereas they were like, you know, that, that thing. It's, it's not happening only in the ANC. It happens in every political party. Mm. And that is what uh, kills the whole objective of uh, us being in politics. And uh, it kills the whole vibe of progress mm. in, in an organization. Because unless they must just, all these political parties, they must just take out that clause that says everyone has got the right to contest and be contested. Because once you contest certain people, they take it personal. Mm. Uh, more so if you can even win. You then become a project. Mm. They can even, they don't mind what sporting anger Mm, mm. you know you are hated by people you don't even know they never even met you they just hate you because uh, you did not agree with this so and so leader which is a bad thing in politics because sometimes you do that against the best of the best you have Eesh. at the expense of uh, those that can't do anything but gossip because remember, hard workers normally don't go around talking. They go around working. You can't work and talk too much at the same time. You either work too much and don't talk too much. You either talk too much and don't work too much. Now, the, the, the challenge we have in all these political parties is that today politics are seen as another form of employment. And for me to accent to a certain uh, position, it must be at the expense of the one who is in that current position. Mm. So if you are the chair or the secretary, and I want to be the chair or the secretary, I must go to the leadership, talk bad things about you, and then uh, the leadership hates you or then want to change you, Look, those things of uh, conferences, by the way, are formalities, uh, by the way. They already know who's coming in. Yeah, the leadership always knows. Or, okay, this is our preference. Uh, this is our preference. Hmm. It can go their way and they'll be happy. And sometimes it doesn't go their way. Hey, you'll run. Hmm. Now, uh, that's, that's, that's what kills everything. Because sometimes it gets very, very, very dirty. Uh, to a point where you don't even mind seeing your fellow comrade on the street barefooted, his children not going to school or her children not going to school because you are fighting for a position. You know, I want to give direction to uh, our conversation right now. Yeah. Especially moving it at the faces. Yeah. Because right now as we are talking, yeah. we are talking about a face when you're in the ANC. Mm. Because I want you, when you make some statements, some statements yeah, what's happening? It's like we are at which phase. So right now, this is the transition from you leaving the party, going to another party, which is the EFF. Mm. And you join in there. What is your memorable thing that you say, like, you know, I worked and I'm proud. I learned. I changed lives. You know, I believe uh, there's so many things that you can actually even uh, draw from that with your experience and how I saw that 
you're active? Like, what is it like when, when you joined in and where that beret? You know, I want us to uh, take us through that story, that journey. Okay, yes. But by the way, now I was just, earlier on, I was just, uh, before you stopped, I was just, exp- I was just trying to answer the question you asked mm. of uh, b- b- those. They'll uh, deal with you. They'll deal with you. Yes, I was just addressing that point. Mm. Now, in terms of me, look, I've I've helped a lot of uh, people, a uh, lot of uh, uh, kids, young, old, and all that. It has never been about me. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, I'm that kind of a person who will not have something, and then you come to me, I can go all out to look for that something for you. Even when I don't have it, I need it. Mm. Yeah. The podcast needs a lot of money to keep the lights on. Josie, please. Yeah, well, look. We'll, we'll talk about it. I want you to we'll, fight we'll, for we'll, us. We'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I've, 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 there, are, there are a lot of people that meet me and say, because of you, I completed my degree. And only to find I can't even remember that person. I will tell you something when coming to that. I still remember very well your involvement, Lee mm. by then. I was still at the university. I think you used to compile lists and raise funds mm. for students. Well, some of us, we saw an opportunity and we were in those lists and our fees were settled. Mm. That I can tell you, Leilina, from uh, my experience. And it helped me a lot, especially at that particular time, I was going through a lot of things. Yeah. Was, yeah. So, so that I can attest to that. And uh, Sam will tell you, I'm still working today because you came, you intervened in my work. I was supposed to be chased away and all that. Wow. And I, to find, I don't even remember. Oh, and I just give my normal smiling face. Oh, yes, yes, I rem- so that I don't disappoint. You are dealing person. with a case, not an individual. Yes, so th- there's a lot of things, a lot and a lot of things that I've done. Uh, but not for me, to help people just. Uh, so that's why I can't give you case by case by case. Mm. Because... I'm not that person. I don't help you and record that I help you. Because that will then say, at some point I must come to you and say, but do not remember Mnangile Gautusha. Mm. I'm in trouble now, help me. No. I help you, I turn, I go. I go and help. I wake up to help people, even now outside uh, the chairperson's position or secretary's position. Even now, okay, well, now you can say president of Way 2 I'm doing it in that capacity. But even before I formed Way 2 uh, I will still wake up to go and help elsewhere. Mm. Those uh, parents there at uh, the Department of Education, I took a... What's that, man? I took a, what do you call, I took a, I took a gap, yeah, from politics and everything. Just one year, those parents were crying. Mm. Where's Bhutan? The queues are long, we're not getting help. Uh, officials are very arrogant. So uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm a tool mm. uh, to help people. Um, so that's, that's my life, my brother. Yeah. What I, are the I, challenges I, I that live, came? Né? I live, I, I live and survive by helping people. Mm. But what, what, what are the challenges that came with leading a vibrant structure like EFF in the province, if you can still remember? Because I don't think anyone can do it. I think it takes a special kind of dedication and a person. I think it's a lot of work. But what are the challenges that came with it? Look, uh, now, my brother, I don't know challenges. Mm. Now I'm a problem myself, so I can't say that there comes a problem and is a challenge to me. The, it's small obstacles, man, that we deal with from time to time. A person, some, some people you are working with just decide to become negative, you look the other way. Because once you work with people and they are negative and you are working together, the stronghold of 10 becomes weaker. The two are negative, eight is uh, positive. So it means there is another group uh, working towards that side and then we are working towards that side. So Mm. you don't uh, get it proper. But 
the, the, the biggest challenges I always face is when I can't literally provide a solution. That breaks me. Oh, when you can't help. The, when I can't help, when the situation is out of my control, way beyond my control, that is, a, a, I take it extremely personal. I take it extremely personal. It breaks me. Mm. Yeah, it breaks me. No, oh, no, 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 I get it. And uh, fast forward to you were disbanded. Yeah. Uh, your committee or the leadership yeah, EFF in the province. Uh, how did it make you feel? Did you see it coming? Did you think you deserve to be disbanded? How, how did you deal with it? Well, look, um, when, when it came, remember we went to Gauti. Mm. Oh, you know you are the chairperson, you go there, there's a meeting on Friday. You are fine, you are laughing in a meeting, there is no problem. You sleep, you know you are the chairperson. Ah, tomorrow when you wake up, what are our disbanding? You think you are dreaming, so so <laughs> you are in a meeting. Hey, and then when the 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 the, 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 the meeting breaks and then they call you to a second meeting to formalize that decision. Then I realize oh, hey, wow, I bet these people will see us. Can it happen? Evan, hey, what have we done? I, I, the main reason is that you didn't deliver to the polls. Yeah, but don't you call people to say, even this is your weaknesses, uh, this is what you should have improved, you know? And because of that, we think this is what must happen. Mm. You are just given that, like you are saying now, we are politicians, Make me understand. But when that decision got taken, I then had to become a leader quickly and get out of the surprise. Mm. Or a one petilium. And then I had to comfort everyone. While you also comforting yourself. Uh -uh. Comforting guy, lost inside. I don't know where to go back, forward. But I must comfort this ones. Now I'll deal with myself later. But these ones are the, are the ones I'm... There are old women there in those committees that did not understand why it happened. Even today. Did, did you appeal? No. Mm. Why, why oh, do you man. appeal? Yes. The leadership has taken a decision. Why do you appeal? You appeal what? You appeal what? There is I no... I unfairness. Aye. It's a political decision is taken. Yes. You just have to rally behind him. There is what you call democratic centralism. Decision of the higher structure must bind the decision of the lower structure. So we had to toe the line. But those old women, some, they are not built for that. They will not understand. Her bloods are coming. They, they knew they worked very hard and they tried all their level best. <laughs> and even ourselves as leaders, we knew that but now we have tried. But we have tried. We have, there is nothing that... Uh, needed to be done that we did not do. You fought. We fought. We fought a serious battle. Now, hey, it depends on our potential of us. Hey, Gauteng was very farm. <laughs> hey, Gauteng, from Gauteng to Polokwane was extremely farm. You know, I'm, I'm glad the man of steel is now showing what, like, you were a human being, you felt pain. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, there was no way you could see you because you did mm. not understand. First did time you cried after a long time. No, no, I never cried. Ah, ah, no, 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 that I never cried. And that, how I, 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 I don't cry. But ordinarily, I don't cry. Naturally, okay. I don't cry. Yeah. If you, you see me crying, thing. you must know. You felt that pain. Yeah, if you see me crying, you must know that thing is extremely. Josie, you felt that pain. Mara, that day. In petit, you was kushi sure. Woman, it's not right. Marakar is politics. Yeah. But what makes it worse is when you are driving and then it's all over social media and your detractors are pinning it, mooring it. We are a robot. 
ja ja jose ke ro bona jose sophisticated ha se polokwana a se la ndro sele market le church uno tsena ka mapa mola ka fetra of ramp o fitile ei me brag fitile o ka ro of ramp o je pei also because of the comments what what came to me too much was more now in the comments or eh even this one is celebrating oh Oh, what's the brita? Oh, okay, what? Oh, no. wow, this one. E, is it possible? Ah, ya bangu muna over tap rompita. And then, le na wa atuka muga le thaka na linda. Hey, why did they do that to you? Then, the pain. Nar nor stalin. Hey, the pain is. Hey, how are you, Stalin? <laughs> ah, Mare, they were wrong. They should not have done that to you, man. What have you done? You are working in pain. This province is no longer going to be the same without you. Then I have a responsibility of protecting the decision of my leadership. Ah, we no, we did not perform, man. We are proud, Papa. Kapelo ngare. Mama opo chan trigger gay le ba na kan. So why would he ask? Papa rumi le kan. And it, but now until with time, ah, it's gone. Gone. You don't put your guy on now. You hear it, yeah. And then what must happen? And I, I believe you can't run a movement that you're running right now. Workers' emancipation. No. While you are in the EFF, isn't it? No, you can. The there is a there are a lot of comrades of ours in the EFF that uh, are leading unions. Mm. Yeah, I'm not the only president of a union in the EFF. Okay. Yeah, there are there are there are quite a number of them uh, that are president of other unions. And like I like I'm one of them. So you still have red berries. Yeah, I still have them. Yeah. I'm still a member. They're still washing them because you haven't worn them in a long time. Yeah, in the longest time I've not worn them. I can go talk about the member Raja Way Two. Way Two is still new. So now you admitting that Way Two can cause a contradiction. especially when you are a member of a political party mm -mm. Let, let me put it to you this way it's new right and then when you become too active and too vocal in terms of your own political party people will then misinterpret it to say is we to ya eff mm. Well, mm. now the union serves all members across political parties and those that are not members of any political party mm. so you must not make other ones feel or you go to ccma you lose a case mm. you are representing a person from the enc and then they said ah you did not give it full attention because kill eff or not my enc maraka more contribution or not to the union you like that or understand another thing so to the face of the public even though there is nothing called neutral in a in a person politically mm. you must try by all means to appear neutral that is why even these days i don't have a problem if i meet an nc person who wants to take with me a picture i go if eff want to take me the picture i go mm. if you invite me as a nc anywhere i come mm. um there are my workers in your organization i know when i'm going to vote I'm going to vote for the EFF. If I'm campaigning, I'll campaign for the EFF. Mm. But my movements are not going to be limited by my political party. But don't you think your responsibility in way to because I think you one of the anchors. Mm. Don't you think it limits your activism and your involvement in your political party the EFF? No, no, it 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 does by choice of course, by the way. it does by choice or you you took a choice i took, you a, took decision. a decision yeah. to not be active i took a decision not to be active mm. as before because of weight and because it's still a new baby that i must uh, harness i must build i must grow up properly yes without yes. podcast uh, no 
which is what nearly happened. Most of the people union EFF. And I had to take a decision. Now, no, let me hold back a bit mm. so that uh, EFF to get members and all that. Why was it? Did you go to the 10 year celebration? No, I did not go. Reason also to not confuse your. No, I had a, a priority now is way too, by the way. Okay. I had a, a meeting with the ex workers of a, a Bukoni mine in Skukule. Mm. Two days in succession. It was a, in relation, I think you have seen a match. We had a very big match there. Our first biggest match as we to mm. was in Skukule. At the mines, right? At the mines, yeah. yeah. So it was uh, along uh, those lines that I did not go. Mm. I knew my contributions in the EFF towards its 10 years. Mm. And uh, I even donated a, a pool. Uh, I was public about it. Mm. Uh, I assisted comrades who wanted to go. But my responsibilities were to call to me in school. Oh, yes. I had to honor them. Mm. I can't uh, start an organization and at the beginning of it fail to honor appointments. Not for any other reason. Not for any other reason, not for anyone. Mm. Not for anything. So the priority now is way to the EFF is my political party. My political home, there is no problem. There is no crisis in the EFF that I must attend to. Mm. There is no crisis in the EFF that I must attend to. So I'm there, I'm not there. You don't even feel me. So what do you say to those who say, maybe you are as good as expert? From the EFF? you're not doing anything. You just donated a pool. Look, uh, it's their choice. They can say, hey, you go there. They will still say, he was begging for space. Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino is hosted by Merupa Casino and Entertainment World. There's so much you can do at Merupa Casino. Let me tell you what I do, how my day looks like. I start at Casper Restaurant. I have breakfast, the freshest breakfast ever. Fresh fruits, yogurt, cheese, and anything that I need for breakfast. And after that, I move to Wild Things, where I can even go to Best Park, Snake Park, but what I enjoy mostly at Wild Things is the pools. I swim until I get tired because swimming is exercise, it's refreshing, and it's beautiful. After that, I go to House of Ashante for a massage. They know what they're doing. I'm telling you, when those people touch your body, you'll never be the same again. After that, I move. I go to the casino itself to play the slots. I always win, and I don't know why. Every time I go play, Something at Merupa Casino. I just win, 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 no matter what. Then after that, I go to Marimba restaurant to have my freshest steak. And remember, by that time, it is in the evening. Then after having my steak, or oh, the, lamb the lamb shank, which I believe that is the best lamb shank in town. That's when I go to Jembe Lifestyle to have fun. It's nice. People come there. I network. There's always someone to talk to. There's always a stranger who says, hi, how are you? And that's the reason I go there. And after that, I go to a Miropa Hotel, call it a night, in those white sheets. Just talk with DJ Capuchin. He wants to lead again. He wants to lead again. So people will continue to talk. Let them talk those gibberish. I don't have a problem with those things. Mm. The, the greatest freedom you can give to yourself mm. It's not to listen. It's, it's not to listen to those things and allow them to guide you. Mm. Get give yourself a freedom to do your own things at your own pace in your own space. Allow yourself to to be yourself. Do what you want. It doesn't matter what you lose in the process. Doesn't matter who says what in the process. Mm. That freedom is very important, my brother. I studied psychology. So, ne? Yeah. As you speak, I can hear your voice is going up. And I'm checking your facial expression. Yeah. Don't you think you need counseling, Josie? I Me? I think you're ahead. Me ahead? 
can never pay. Can never pay. Me? What? No, I was, I'm thinking like you, there are signs that this man needs to speak to a professional. Oh, the professional in me. I don't do those things. My brother, I don't do those things. <laughs> They're my men. Mm. They can say I'm as good as expelled. I don't have a problem. Yeah. Even today, they come and say, Emuna, you are resigning here. We want you to go. No problem. What do you want from me? I'm not going to burn your things. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything. I'll never go anywhere and insult or anything. You want me to go? No problem. Let me go. I'm a president of my own union. So there is no other bigger position I'll want anyway. Mm. Yeah, no. Your, your voice is going higher and higher. Now. Yeah, because I'm proper. Proper, proper arrangement. I'm not scared. You, can, you can't speak like this when you are scared because uh, when you are scared, you, you are very careful. If, if, if I speak like this, I might be recalled. If I speak like that, mm. I might be dealt with. So when you have freedom like me, you, you just say, man. Mm. Because anyone who comes to you and say, you should not have said that, this is what you should have said, you tell the person, mm. this is my mouth. This is my mind. Yeah. And I have power over them. If you don't like what I say, if you don't like uh, how I said it, it's your own maltabella. Mm. It's your own baby to feed, not me. And if you think uh, I was talking about you, wear those shoes. It means you know what you do and what you did. Mm. If it's wrong, you know it was wrong. If it's right, you know it was right. But me, I'm going there. I have my constituency now. Mm. Talking to you, I'm from uh, closing clover there. I am from closing some Zimba shops there of uh, some uh, uh, people there who were insulting. What are the them. problems there? Those ones of Clover, uh, people must be buying over time. So uh, if you want to have more money, you must bribe uh, the, the manager for you to drive car many uh, the, the truck to get more uh, shifts for the truck. Mm. That's where you make your money. So you must be bribing those people. So, and if you don't bribe them, they treat you with uh, some hot, uh, cold uh, uh, shoulder arrangement. Those ones of uh, Zimba chips people, mm. they are insulting our people. A, a woman, I saw just some frail woman there uh, calling a, a, an old man, a big man like you, with your everything there in your mm. trouser. Uh, and then... Naming uh, them. Hey, Marat. Yo, sorry. No, no, yeah. 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 I understand. Hey, Urmaret. Disrespect. Hey, Urmaret. Let me ask you, Ella, Lena. Oh, Urmaret, take Urmaret. Let's go away. Hey, Mara, so trans Rohani. Hey, Musadu la lokula Uruba khalabe balo Uruba nor Urmaret abon. Mara, ndo la iti mili. Oya wan. I don't know iti mili mojos. You are hallucinating. Understand? Like that, and one union, union IDC. So I have a I ground Kenela I I salen Namotola Ori get this political party because I want a position or I want a deployment. No. No. Those people Ba, ba contributor is fine. It will take care of the organization, their contribution, it will take care of workers. So we're fine. Mm. We're fine. So our Sali Mola stage in Saori rapelage a position. Yes. Uh, if you want me, you have me. If you don't want me, you will not have me. You invite me, I come. You mm. don't invite me, I don't come. You tell me. I listen. You don't tell me, I don't ask. That's the attitude oh, now. When you are called, you come. You when wait. you call me, I come. Mm. When you talk to me, I listen. When you don't talk to me, I don't ask. There's nothing personal. You know, people misunderstood uh, my grievances with the University of Limpopo, with mm. activism. Mm. And they are sending me messages and some calling me, telling me about the labor problems they are having there. Mm. And I think this is an opportunity. We have where to, leader here, Joseph Butani, contact this man, 
because it's lecturers, it's cleaners, everyone is complaining yeah. about unfair labor practices. This is a man for you. You call him, he will go to the investor of Limpo. I let them come. Mm. I don't we, have limits. I don't have. Uh, yeah. I don't have limits. Uh, by the way, and, and I don't care who's involved, who's not involved. Mm. It's, it's about workers. I don't care. If 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 you are a cappuccino and uh, in your podcast your workers are not happy, despite my relationship with you, mm. I must defend these workers. So you're you going, hate me for. You're going to switch off the cameras. Yeah, I switch off. I, I blocked the door. I blocked the door here. No one comes. You'll podcast yourself. Yeah, properly. Now, I, I'm not going to nest our friendship at the expense of workers. Yes, that's, that, that's if, true. If you love mm. me, you will understand that you must treat your workers properly so that they don't come to me to complain and I, I have to confront you. Wow. That's and an open then course. I must then step like I'm, I'm walking on eggs because it's you. Mm. It can never happen. I'll rather lose you. Mm. But remain with them. Mm. Yes. I'll rather lose you as a friend and remain with the workers. It's okay. Yeah. You know, before we, let, we move to it, I had a question for you that I wanted to ask you. I mean, uh, it's a fact. Uh, Julius Malema is not ordinary. He's doing great things. He's pushing, he's moving. And you have worked close with him. Mm. What have you learned that you think you have treasured from working with such a man? Well, it's a lot of things. He's a, he's a good leader. And... Um, I like his uh, approach to issues in terms of honesty. Mm. Um, his robustness in uh, attending, in, in addressing issues that he's convicted on. Mm. Uh, how he drives his uh, conviction. Mm. Some similar characters, by the way. When uh, how he wants something and it to be get if if it must be done in this fashion, it must be done in this fashion. Yeah. Paying attention to details. Mm. That's a that's a key thing I also learned from him. Pay attention to details. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Those are the things that I've learned from him. Mm. And uh, I believe that there's still more to learn. Mm. But uh, like Don't be scared. I'll sort it out. No, okay. Yeah. Like I said, he's a good leader. It's fine. Yeah. Mm. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, because I, I, I think, obviously, such such people, you you learn. You know, you get some things that you learn uh, a lot uh, from such people. But also, on the hindsight, are there things that you think, Corey, uh, he can maybe improve or work better on? Well, I let me not get. Is it my phone? Test. It's my phone, eh? Please bring it to me. I let me not get into that space. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I'm. I'm glad because I. I also heard your voice was going down smooth and soft <laughs> when you speak up. I. I could hear that. There's respect and. Uh, uh, no, I, I get you. Let's, no, no. Let's no, move. No, let, we, we need to move uh, out of that space because yeah, uh, I don't want people to contaminate the environment. Oh, yes. You know, uh, it's not about me and him. It's about yeah. the other receivers trying to contaminate the environment. Yes. And that is why I was even careful in responding to what I... The blended. first question. Yes. 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 Okay. Let's move. I we're moving. Prop. We are on way to... Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, are you achieving the results that you want, or you just close and you leave? Um, let me in a Tower Zimbi. We are the only union that uh, negotiated uh, more than fifty percent. Uh, to the workers of those mines there. Mm. And we did that in the midst of all the old and reputable uh, unions. 
Yes. I think they got they they negotiated with six and six point five five point five. We went to seven point five. Wow. We went to seven point five, and that's a lot. It's too much. Yeah. Uh, seven point five. They could not uh, get it. Uh, that. Uh, let me not mention their name because they're not here. Yeah. But uh, those unions that uh, existed, arm and if I, they, they did not get the they did not get the percentage they did not get. There's nothing they can change. That noom. Oh yes. Yeah. They, they can change. I mean, uh, it's, it's noom. It's noom. Noom. Yeah. Noom did not get seven point five. I we too got seven point five. So mm. there is no insult and there is no tarnishing of a name. So mm. noom did not get uh, seven point five, and I think Amku also did not get seven point five. Um, and these are very old unions. These are old unions yeah. that came before us. Now, at uh, Pick and Pay here in Saikat, mm. uh, we took that management from 4.5 to 5%. Mm. Um, so I'm trying to show you that we, we, we are getting what we want. Getting things done. We are getting it done. We are fixing it. Yeah. The problem is that our people lost faith in unions because most unions are more concerned about what they get from workers in terms of subscription fees. Yes. Once they get those subscription fees, they turn. Uh, it will be the last time you see them, the time they gave you forms to join. Mm. Once you start giving them uh, the monies, they do other things with that money. They don't even give you proper lawyers for representation. We, the Bukoni mine people there in Skukumi, more than 4,000 of them, were representing them. Remember, they are ex workers, they are not employed, so they don't give us anything. When we go there, it's pro bono, it's serious pro bono, there's no money that uh, they are giving us. It's us, you see the strikes there, it's us, nothing. So ours is to bring back the dignity of a black worker, yes, in particular, and dignity of workers in general. So. Uh, it's not about running after the money, and but we do it differently. Mm. We give you a, an opportunity to explain yourself, and if you can't explain yourself properly, we come in close. You will talk to us with your shop closed. The pain the workers are feeling, you'll also feel it, mm. because the employers these days are more comfortable than the employees. The the we used to know that when there is a union existing in a company, the employer behaves properly. Mm -hmm. But today, employers are instructing unions what must happen at the workplace. They are managing the unions. They are managing the unions. When they go to the workers, the unions, they have some things in their mouth. They can't talk properly. You can't even hear what they are trying to say. I get you. Yeah. So we are turning that thing around and we are doing very well. Mm. We are doing very, very well. Our Good. numbers are increasing properly. Mm. Yeah. And that is what I'm saying. I don't care uh, about uh, anything. <laughs> you take me to... Uh, uh, you, you say I'm, I'm doing what, what in what, what political party, yet I'm no longer there. I've, I've, I've outgrown that stage. Mm. I'm a big arrangement now. Uh, I'm I'm that one shark in the in the sea, the bigger one. Yes. Uh -huh. So I was an Ntongo campaign on a bigger than this, my brother. Yes. There's nothing you can give me bigger than this. There is and there is no organization that you'll have two presidents. Yeah. yeah. So and then uh, you are fine. So we we are we're well. We're well. So whatever if you see me in another political party tomorrow or so, don't don't be surprised. Don't worry. No, I won't be. Don't worry. Uh, just know that you just want to assist people with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Those things of uh, you talking too much English, hey, Lenin said, Marx said, hey, my brother. Our, this... our, our people don't eat those things. <laughs> yeah? Our people don't eat, they, they eat real bread. Mm. And they don't have real bread. And the problem with political parties now, uh, they, they, they are too powerful to even themselves, and that comes to their detriment. Uh, you, you, you might have passed through the passage that says, 
power corrupts and too much power corrupts absolutely. Mm. That's the problem political parties are facing now. That once they become big, they become something else. Mm. What they started, what they start fighting for, changes shape. And it depends with every uh, political party that exists now, by the way. Yes. Irrespective. Uh, the leaders uh, tend to be something else. So when we get into that space, we let's forget the gibberish of English and uh, the books you think we are reading and you tell us before you know politics properly, you must know Marx and Lenin. Forget those things. I want a bread for my people. I want politics for bread for my people. And by the way, for me as well. Mm. Uh, don't don't get it confused. <laughs> for me as well. Yes. So uh, my <clears throat> people must eat. I must eat. The world must be happy. Not one individual must be happy at the expense of others. Mm. Every time they see you, hey, they worship you. Hey, leadership. Hey, what, 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 what? And then you give them some few changes, and then uh, from your pocket, the coins, uh, small monies, uh, and then you think uh, you must be worshipped forever. No. Let everyone around you survive. Let everyone around you, including yourself, uh, prosper. Mm. So those are politics now I'm, I'm, I'm moving with these days. Mm. It's no longer about Otombucha uh, philosophy. Philosophy for what? Mm. Philosophy theory for what? Okay, Jia, we now dust capital, we look at the microwave, we change our cake. You can you can you take those things so you write in your policies there you say Lenin you say Fanonu uh, you say who uh, oh. and I'm not ridiculing them by the way yeah but I'm saying they must not come at the expense of real things you can't take uh, uh, the, the that book of uh, uh, angels put it in the microwave and it comes out as a, a croissant. My children need to eat croissant. Mm. Huh? So when I, in the day you tell me about angels, Marx and Lenin, in the night you go and do the deal. You seal the deal, you come here, you tell me about uh, uh, Trotsky, you tell me about Hitler, you tell me about so and so with your pocket full and mine with holes. So wrong. With Why did that happen? Eh? Why did that happen? It's like you've uh, experienced that first time. No, no. I'm. I'm not saying uh, it no, happened. No, you are dreaming. Anyway, You're not saying particular. the reality. That's not reality. No, no. It's reality. How do I dream when okay, I'm? Okay. Where, where, where did it happen? No, I don't have to say it happened. Where I'm saying, in in my perspective, we mustn't put those things pass off. in the. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm pasopi proper. I'm Paswapi, proper, and I can repeat it anywhere. By the way. Okay. I can repeat it anywhere to the face of anyone okay. on this earth. Now as I'm talking to you. Yes, you are doing that. Yeah, yeah they, if, if, if they think maybe I'm talking behind closed doors and I, they can put me in a corner there and then they bring someone who think I cannot respond to, I'll respond properly like that. Okay. Repeat it again and say, our people need proper food. They need a proper job. They need, we need as leaders to produce many people like us. What we eat, our people must eat. They must not uh, see a good smelling person by only us. They must also smell good. Mm. Because don't enslave our people and say, what's what? You know I was leading the YCL? No, I don't know. I led the YCL. Petro, you know. I led the YCL, right? But while I drove an M6, in the National Committee of the YCL, they discussed my car. And they said I'm a capitalist. And I said, Evan, how do I become a capitalist when I don't uh, own any means of production? They said, no, communists don't drive such cars. Even who must drive that car? Worst part, an M6, a second hand. 
Just because it's an M6, and me, I'm saying I'm a communist, I mustn't drive it. Sancho really won al hua. With a posh kayan on a note of our lag appeal. So so you 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 want us to be more poor. Marawena, Ota or Adresa, which all plusing we know why in Yamuaritze. Huh? It's cheverish that. Let's move. From politics, uh, the transition to you, to you being a businessman. Uh, yeah. I've checked your moves. You posted that was years ago. But now I see, I see now man, things are happening. You even have rabbits. Eh? Just rabbits. <laughs> I think you are one of the few guys who are even owning rabbits. And I'm like, there's progress here. Now you have butcheries. You slaughter your own cattle. No, man. There's a business model that you are following and it's working for you. How was the transition? Uh... You have a horse. Can you imagine owning a horse? Hey, my man, uh, let me tell you, the, <laughs> the everything, right? Mm. I always tell uh, the people I'm with, don't be impatient with any process. Number one, two, is that uh, with you not being impatient with everything, you must have a plan as a man. Mm. And... Uh, it doesn't matter what you have at the time. You may not have money, but have a plan. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, if, if you check, um, my kids or anyone's, any politician's kids, and any, any kid of a politician, yes. the legacy cannot be viva. Your children are not going to eat a mandala once you are gone. Mm. Leaders will come to your funeral and say, we'll take care of your children. That will be the last day you saw them and you heard them talking. After you are gone. From there, they are gone. Before you can even melt the ice under the ground, they'll be gone. Now, what is it that will leave for your children? We have suffered a lot. Do we need our children to suffer a lot like we did? Do we want them to go through the same route we went through? Which bank is loaning you for the farms and how you developed? I'm not using banks. I save. You're good at saving. I'm, I'm not using bank. Even the butchers, I'm, I'm not using bank. I'm, I'm saving. Mm. It's not an easy... It's not an easy road, uh, Kapachima. Yeah. It's not an easy road, I must tell you. It's, it's, I wake up to solve problems. Yes. I sleep solving problems. Sometimes my fiancé says to me, the way you are drinking, I'm worried. Because there are just some times when everything else doesn't add up. Mm. And you feel that you have now reached a ceiling. You call people, they don't answer. Now, where's that you are no longer in certain positions of power, mm. right? Yeah, you... They don't have a problem of missing your call thrice. What is Josie? What does Josie want? What is this one looking for? What is this yeah. one looking for now? And then... It's, it's very difficult. Can you spend time with your rabbits? They are... Uh, those ones, they only... They are beautiful. Really, they are white and... They only, yeah, Josie, man. I even sold them, by the way. Mm. I even sold them. I had to sell them to sustain the butcher. Mm. So that's why I'm saying, Uri, it's, not, it's not simple, my brother. But the reason you see me passionate about it and consistent about it mm. is that I know at the, at the time I die, it will be a real empire. JB, meet empire. It will be a real empire. Mm. I'm struggling now. I wake up, I ask you this money, yay, help me, yeah. I must buy a, 
chicken feet. Hey, come here, yeah, borrow me this one, I'll bring it the other time. So it's cash flow management. Borrow me this one, I, I'll come and, I come and patch here. And then when I patch here, they tell you those ones, they don't have ox liver. You go, you borrow, hey, borrow me th like that, right? Mm. There is no bank here. It's me. There is no funding, nothing from any department. It's me. Now, it's not all nice and sweet like that. Mm. It's a very painful, painful process. At a time, you just sit and uh, say, I fuck, I'm leaving this thing. But when you remember what you have invested, you then say, no. These hardships means I'm closer to the, to the thing. Then you remember the white horse. Then you remember right. the white horse. Yeah, no, let me do it. I'm not called Stalin for nothing. And then you open another branch. Yeah. When nobody's expecting it. Yeah, when nobody's expecting it. When, you, when even yourself, you don't have money. By the way, <laughs> you don't have money, right? <coughs> and you, you open another branch. And then they say, hey, this one looks like he has money. And then when you don't have money like that, you drive a Range Rover. Hmm. But and then this one, no, you manage. You manage this thing. But you don't manage them for yourself. Mm -mm. You manage them for your children. It's not for me. The Range is not for me. The butcher is not for me. Mm. The, the farm is not for me. The house is not for me. The house, the butcher, the range, everything, everything is for my wife and my kids when I'm gone. Yes. That is what white people they create generational wealth. And that is wisdom right there. I think it takes us time to start thinking like that as black people. And sometimes we start thinking like that when it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. So the the only thing bar palanga on a mataka can create a generational wealth. Guru wana wana before sick sickal is it so kumili. Guru Rabas no Sivele so man give fanda. Sis you bele as you should swan a parallel. Yeah. You le machana lo gri pampas asu sona para pampas mara saka ofanda bagare bagare ya ka accounting ya ya mamma la rongo na na nel baru nel one day o fita go o a tshoga yo ya go ka ntsha account so rena we and i i shifted very quickly by the way i i i make no epo challor my life must just be politics only and all that very quickly i then set up a the hrot man tsare na ka moka ga di tswa mo politiki ndi a sa thafala ka moka u no ka ba re motho e be le mme a ro mo lebelela se eta se nna se mo dumedisha se lebele jodi mo every day ga tsa masere halo 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 se so e je re ke fitlhedi e tla tsaka a bona ke lebele tshikodi se eta se halo 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 every day ga tsa mba le panta go re wa bona go mo phutse gore motho o ka ngile a para size 40 mara nja lo ka re ke 26 mara a gone o re ka le pantalon la size 26 we tla phula ka di pikiri so mara ba re ze former mayor yeah ba re this one is a former mc this one is a former what what ba se tefetse ba se nne a isa dula why they thought politics are permanent and <coughs> they are going to eat that them forever o tla kana le bana ba bona mo pateng ke bona ba le tshwenyang he this, he that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you check, I mm -hmm. Then what happened? Go check, I take another papa, I go to the hospital and all that. Mm -hmm. But this guy was an MEC. What happened? This guy was a mayor. What happened? Provincial chair, national what what? What happened? Then, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's what made me to think deep and hard about. But let me. Mm. The money you spend, go remember all tomorrow. You become reckless even in the pocket. And then cappuccino buys a starlight. Starlight. Or I want to learn. As as not our way. As I I come to learn. I never learn. I learn. I am told. Anyway, budget is generated. Yeah. I want to learn. 
something very important no or a regular ace of spades. I don't have a problem with the person who buys the ace of spades. Mm-hmm. Buy it, but also budget it and assess on chi from the real arrangement. Mm-hmm. So that's 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 where you find me now. Yeah. If if you if and I now I don't relate with anyone who thinks uh, small. Yes. Lo valo bola la ka hore o mono o la le re kengilo tsana di frontal le bola la ka di frontal le bola la ka yinging le bola la ka yinging now i don't do those things i would tell you that uh for you to be invited because i'm wearing with the brains as you can see there we discussed it thoroughly and then we appreciate that a giant like you also accepted remember we are a new podcast yeah it's easy for you to say do your thing. Let's see how it goes. Maybe late. But you never cease to say, I'll come. Let's just organize a day. And to us, it means a lot. And we are saying, there's so much that you said today that's a, that's a lot of wisdom. Because I think you have proven over time. You're not a pushover. You also know what you're doing. And there's a lot of wisdom in what you're doing again. And selflessness. That's something that we also thought it's actually happening. We want to encourage you to continue. And to say, this is your platform. Here, today, we are coming to introduce you. To say, we have someone who will still come and unbundle some of these things. I want. But we had a great time. Uh, and I think you are aware it's a safe space. We don't peddle rumors or anything. We just talk. And I think we, we really, really had a nice conversation, Jose. Mm-hmm. And I don't want us to steal from other things we can still discuss. But Naginore... Yeah, but thank you. Thank you yeah. really for coming. No, no, there is no problem, my brother. Uh, this is home. Uh, you are one of our brothers. Uh, we we take pride in uh, people like you. When every th- everyone thinks that you are out and down, mm. you come back with a bang. Uh, don't be impatient with your podcast. Uh, who comes comes who doesn't yeah. come it doesn't matter no one owns a monopoly of breath or success yeah. and well there'll be talks continue to allow those talks to shape you yeah. uh, we Let's, let's work. Um, just uh, respect your workers and then... Mm. They're my partners. Yeah, yeah uh, we, are, we are fine. Yeah, you are, we are partners. We are fine. Mm. So uh, we wish that you grow and grow bigger and then you get Thank more you. numbers and God be with you all the time. Thank Don't you. forget to pray as well. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, we hope that you also grow. JB uh, Meet Empire. Mm. Uh, we are also hoping that one day you can even place, uh, you know, an advert on our podcast. We are hoping that one day we can still eat meat from JB, uh, Meat Empire, and we actually have reviews uh, live on the podcast. But we wish you all the best. <laughs>